Here's something to think about when we're multiplying. When we multiply a number by a whole number, the answer is always larger than the original number. For example, if we have the number 3, and we multiply it by the whole number 2, the answer is 6, which is larger than the original number 3. Similarly, if we have the number 15, and we multiply it by the whole number 3, we get the answer 45, which is larger than our original number 15. However, with fractions, this works differently. Let's say our original fraction is one half, which we'll represent as a half full beaker. And we'll multiply the original fraction by the proper fraction, one half. The answer comes out to one quarter, which is smaller than the original fraction, one half. Let's do another example. We start with the fraction three quarters which we'll represent by a three-quarters full beaker. Now we'll multiply the original fraction, three-quarters, by the proper fraction, one-half. Three-quarters times one-half comes out to three-eighths, which is smaller than the original fraction, three-quarters. We can summarize by stating that when a fraction is multiplied by a proper fraction, the answer is always smaller than the original fraction. The reason for this is, in a proper fraction, the numerator is smaller than the denominator. This makes the value of any proper fraction less than 1. So all this makes sense, because if we have any fraction, and we multiply it by a number with a value less than 1, we always get a smaller fraction. And remember, the value of any proper fraction is less than 1.